Hi, Steve Gamash here with a Chef Knives to Go quick look product video, and we are looking at the Moritaka Aogami Super Supreme Series. This is the Nakiri 165mm knife. This line of knives has a coarse steel of Aogami Blue Super Carbon Steel, and the heat treat rating on these is 64 to 65 Rockwell, right at the high range for this steel, so nice and hard. The construction is a iron a reactive cladding with the Kudauchi or KU blacksmith finish on top of that core steel. And the Moritakas, uh, it's really hard to see the cladding line where the, the cladding and core meet on these. It's really hard even with the naked eye. You have to get it just right in the light. And I don't even know if you can pick that up. But, uh, but it is there. And um, so the, uh, these are reactive blades. Uh, Moritaka has one of the nicest KU claddings, in my opinion, of a lot of the knives marked cells and these have a um, fairly, uh, I shouldn't say, I guess fairly smooth KU cladding, uh, not a whole lot of friction, good balance between friction and uh, food release uh, on these and they've got stamped embossed kanji on there. Uh, all these martakas have welded on steel tangs onto the main blade for longevity in the handle. And um, this particular knife, the weight on this is 142 grams or about 5 ounces, so pretty light. The weight on this, or excuse me, the blade length on this is 165 millimeters, 6.5 inches, and the overall length on the entire knife is about 12 inches. The spine at the uh, heel chin part of the knife, thickness wise, is about 3.2 where it's coming out of the handle right above there. And then this thins up a bit, and it is an Akiri, so it pretty much just holds most of that thickness right out to the edge, or the end of the knife. And then the height on the blade at the chin heel area as well is about uh, 50.75 millimeters, so kind of a middle height uh, Nakiri. The handles they put on these are an octagonal ambidextrous uh, U wood buffalo horn ferrule handle. You do have a slight bit of, uh, I'm not going to say gap, but a slight bit of uh, raised difference there between the wood and the, the ferrule. Not a big deal. You could sand it down if you wanted to, but it's not a, a major difference. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all when I'm using the knife. The uh, handle circumference on this right here at the uh, ferrule is about three inches, so pretty standard size. And these don't have especially wide necks, so the knife feels a little taller than it is. Um, because of that, so you get a lot of nice clearance right here on the blade for the board. The uh, knife is ground very, very nicely and has a, a slight belly to it, not very much at all. It's not dead flat, but it's got a little bit of belly to it. And you can see these are quite thin right out at the edge. The Moritakas are a particular style where they do have more of a pointed, uh, squared off tip rather than a rounded tip. And uh, I didn't know if I would like that, but I actually really like it because when you're when you're doing like the vertical slices on onions or other kind of cuts, you can get in there a little bit better than you can with the more rounded off tip, at least in my opinion. And since you don't really rock these too much, it really made no difference to me on the board uh, of the knife at all. Um, balance point on these is right about there, so it's pretty close to a pinch grip. Pinch is slightly behind that, but it gives you just a little bit of weight forward balance on the blade for some chopping power. Performance on this is very, very good. It goes through onions extremely well. Uh, it's just a really good all-around performer. It doesn't wedge too much. Uh, it's fairly non-stick. So it just has a good all-around balance of characteristics to it. And uh, it's just a very nice example of a handcrafted Kudauchi type blade. So uh, nice and straight. And uh, as I said, uh, the the edge profile is real nice with no undergrinds or overgrinds, and just a well-crafted blade, a delight to use this knife. So there you have the Moritaka AS Supreme uh, Nakiri 165mm knife. Oh, and I do want to add, I already, <laughs> I'll go back again, the out-of-the-box edge on this, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. It um, was pretty sharp, but it didn't have a lot of bite on it, so I threw it on a Shapton Pro 1.5K briefly, and then a horse butt strop, and it really made a difference and very sharp with just a little bit of bite to it uh, for going through things like tomatoes and such. And uh, so these can sharpen up super easy. It's great sharpening steel. So now we will sign off with the Moritaka AS Nakiri 165 millimeter.